What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Variant Show. The Variant Show. We're here to talk about 10 comic books that are going up and down in price. First off, I want to thank everybody for doing The Variant Show last week. It was absolutely awesome having everybody's participation in that. Yeah, and it was so much fun hearing everyone's thoughts on variants and who their favorite variant artists are. I just had a lot of fun with that show. It was so cool having beginner YouTubers like Jennifer from Comic Books Will Break Your Heart all the way up to somebody like 100,000 subscribers and Jem Min. It was so cool having everybody's participation. Here at Hero and the Kid, we thank you all. So before we get into this week's variant show, please subscribe to Hero and the Kid, give this video a like, and turn on the notification so you don't miss any more of our upcoming content. Make sure you check out the Patreon in the description below. We got a lot of great books on the list today. We hope you enjoyed this video, so without further ado, let's get into this week's variant show. Alright, so Dad, you want to tell everyone we have at number 10 up first on the list? We have a book that's absolutely blowing up on the list today, coming in at the number 10 spot. We have Jenny Frizen doing Something is Killing the Children, issue number 6. This is the 1 in 25 variant cover. Yeah, this is the variant I wanted when this issue came out. Unfortunately, this was around the time when Something is Killing the Children became very hot, so like from then on, like every variant that came out has been really hard to get, but this right. is the uh, one of them we've really wanted to get for the longest time. But now it's even harder to get. You want to tell them why? Kind of give you an idea how big this book is blowing up right now. On Gold Collect, the last Richard's sale for a 9.8 was going for $202 back in July. $202 out of 9.8. Mm -hmm. Listen to that. 9.8, $202. Now we're talking raw now. November 1st on eBay, one sold for $220. And you're thinking to yourself, you can't get much higher than that. Yeah, you go a week forward. On the 8th of November, a copy sold for $295 raw. It's crazy. Almost $100 more than a 9.8 graded from July. Yeah, this book is going up in price so much. This is Something's Killing the Children is just a very hot independent book right now. And I feel like every variant that's come out so far is just up, up crazy in price. We just did a live stream. We were just talking about something killing children. And speaking of that live stream, we got this beautiful art piece done by Jay Hood himself. Yeah, this is so awesome. It's Spider-Man punching Venom in the face. I mean, I wish it was Venom punching Spider-Man in the face, but what can you do? It's still an awesome cover. He's a guy that has great information, great knowledge about the whole comic book world. He's such a nice guy, and I interviewed him and his crew, Vic and Alan. That was a lot of fun. They're, they're, he's just a great person, and we're really happy he did this. Now let's rein the show back in. If you wanted to see Jamie and see what he's all about, check our description. We'll put the link in there. Click on it. Get to his channel. Subscribe. The guy's an awesome dude. It's the variant show, not the shout-out show. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so let's see what's coming in at number nine. All right, so coming in at number nine, we have crossover issue number one, the Hive Comics John Gallagher Virgin variant. And man, is this book on fire. Yeah, Donnie Kate's writing it. It was a really good read. And now you got a Virgin variant that's crazy in price right now. We found three prices on eBay at the moment. Yeah, two of them were pre-orders, and they both sold above $100. One sold on the 17th of October for $117. And then on 19th of October, one sold for $108. But flash forward to November 7th, one ended up selling for $150. This is an absolutely cool cover. I just love the whole essence of it. Yeah, this is a very cool cover. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get this one, but I'm sure if we did get this one, we'd be all over it. This is just such an amazing cover by John Gallagher. Now, I did talk about this on my Pick of the Week video. I really liked how this book related to Donny Cates and how it had his story where Donny Cates almost died twice. And, like, the first time he wanted to write a book about, like, death, and that's why he wrote God Country. And the second time he came close to dying, he didn't want to talk about death at all. He wanted to make a comic book that 
that he could write that related to his childhood when he opened up a comic book and get that awesome feeling of reading a comic. So I just really like the connection between this comic and Donny Cates. Yeah, I, I really like this book. It, it's a crossover book between Image, DC, and Marvel. And like, if you look in the background in the books, you see like Superman, you see like Spider-Man on the walls and how everyone's like talking about them. They have like comic books of them. It's just a really cool concept. And this book did have a lot of variants for issue number one. And a lot of the variants are doing pretty good in price right now. But this is just another book that you want to keep your eyes out for this week. So coming in at number eight, we have Far Sector, issue number one, the second print. This book is the first appearance of Green Lantern, uh, Sojourner, Sojourney. Uh, you can say Joe. Joe Moline or Molin. Why is this such a hard name to say? <laughs> Joe Moline. Moline. Okay. <laughs> there is speculation that Joe will be included in the Green Lantern HBO Max series, and the speculation also tied it tied into Teen Lantern. This is something that they've been talking about ever since the Far Sector book came out that there could be some kind of tie with a HBO TV show. It's one of those books I kept expecting a little bit more adventure out of. I really enjoyed the art with it. Yeah, it did have really great art on the inside. But a lot of people like the book and everybody has their own taste. Yeah, but let's take a look at the second print and how much that's selling for. For a while now, this book's kind of been in that 30 to $40 price range. And over this past week on November 3rd, we saw this book hit $50. There are no graded copies of this book yet, but I imagine if you do have this comic, you probably should get it graded because prices on this book have been just going up in price. Yeah, I searched a handful of sites and I couldn't find any graded pr prices on this. Yeah, so you, we don't even know how much a graded copy is going to be going for. She definitely is getting a lot of hype right now with the speculation of her joining the TV show. Definitely try to grab this because if she does end up being on the TV show, we could see these prices go even higher. So coming in at number seven, we have Last Ronin, issue number one, the Aaron Bartling variant, limited to 300 copies. This whole series started getting a lot of hype over the past couple weeks. A lot of it had to do with the cover A and being limited issues getting sent to the comic shop, something to do with Diamond. And how I had to get pushed back because the people that saw the preview didn't like how the art was, so this book had a lot of problems with it, but this variant seems to be crazy in price we're seeing quite a few sales on ebay for this book right now but one really stands out a raw copy of this sold on november 1st for 925 dollars yeah that is absolutely crazy this book has 70 variants to it and it's like 70 925 dollars for a raw comic are you kidding me <laughs> that is absolutely insane it's a beautiful cover it is it, it, it's a cool cover the, well, i love how they have the ninja turtles all in like a green smoke kind of like ghost, ghost kind of figures yeah and they're looking down on the last yeah. ronin uh you don't even know wait yes you do who know it is because you didn't read it but i told you but i don't want to spoil it for them as always i'm always behind on my reading <laughs> <laughs> but i was definitely surprised on who the last ronin is but this is a very cool variant there was another one that sold on november 6th and i can't stand it it always eats on me it does the fifteen hundred dollars but they cross out the price and i wish i yeah, could find you, out you don't know how much it exactly sold for and it's so frustrating it was a 9.8 if there's a way that you can find out what the actual price of that goes. Somebody tell us here, here on the kid, because I love bringing the facts and sharing it with all of you, and then it would just make the day a little bit easier. Yeah, and you would be a true hero to hear when the kid, so we can know the actual price so that it's sold for. If I had to guess, it probably sold for a thousand, maybe twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, but that's just guessing. Don't take it from me. Yeah, I I would like to know, but this. $925 for a raw comic. <laughs> so coming in at number six, we have Spawn issue number 311. This is a Chadwick Boseman black and white tribute cover. This is one that we wanted to touch on last week, but we didn't do our typical variant show. We did a little something different. Uh, but before we talk about that book, I'm going to tell you the key about it. Uh, there is solicitation that new heroes and new villains and a new costume will be introduced in this issue And this is the first appearance of red meat. This one isn't doing anything like really crazy We're seeing prices average about ten dollars right now. Yeah, there's nothing crazy going on We just wanted to put this one on the list because it's such a great cover. It's a it's an awesome tribute to Chadwick Boseman So we needed to put this one on the list. This is a book that we paid only three dollars for 
and it's cool to see it jump up to 10 bucks. But this is one that's staying in the collection. Yeah, we're not getting rid of this. It's a beautiful cover by Todd McFarlane. And like you, like you said, this is one that's just going to stay in the collection for a very long time. Up next on the list at number five, we have Thorn number five, the one in 25 variant. And what happens with a lot of these books that we put at the number five spot? They're doing terrible in price. Like this sold back in August for $750 at a 9.8. And then you flash forward uh, three months to November 8th and a 9.8 for this book just sold for $330. And we have this comic book. We this... were going to get it graded. We were going to sell it. This book is sinking faster than Titanic, and the same thing is happening with the cover A. We saw that book back in August selling for almost $400 at a 9.8, and then back on Halloween, we saw this thing hit $56 at a 9.8. Yeah, seeing this book do that brings a tear to my eye. It hurts because we have a copy of the 1 in 25, we bought it for $12. We were so excited to see that thing hit $750. We wanted to get it graded. We missed our chance, but hopefully this book uh, goes back up in price if they do decide to bring the Black Winter back into a series or something like that. But hopefully this book does go back up in price. All right, Hero Squad, it's everyone's favorite time of the show. The ugly cover, this time it's plural, of the week. This week, we got Roscoe edging out. Nova Seats, these two guys are battling back and forth each week. Who's going to put in the ugliest cover or who's going to put in the funniest? This week, we're spotlighting Roscoe. Next week, it's going to be Nelvis. We're going to put them to the test. Well, we got to wait and see. We got to see what they submit. All right, so we got this one right here. Yeah, I got Spider-Man kissing, trying to kiss Deadpool, I guess. We got a little role reversal going on. We got Spider-Man trying to kiss Deadpool. We got... Deadpool with his avocado face that <laughs> dropped on the floor trying to kiss Spider-Man. These are a couple awesome covers. I never came across these before. Yeah, seeing these, I, I want to kind of go after them. These are funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Deadpool's holding flowers. <laughs> Thanks, Brasco, for the submission. Awesome to give us a laugh. Hopefully it gives all you viewers a laugh. We hope you guys like this part of the show. We sure enjoy it. And remember... Anybody can submit Not an just ugly Roscoe or a funny cover. And Nelvis, they are carrying everyone. They're doing all the work. I would like to see what some other people have if they have anything. But we want to thank both of you for always putting in the effort for this. Big thanks from Hero and the Kid. So coming in at number four, we have Savage Dragon number 253. Yeah, I said it. Savage Dragon. The dragon is just so savage. This is the Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, President comic book. You know, before we talk about this book, there is something I got to bring up. Uh, the Champions book that just came out, number one, yep. it said on the back, it said Boat Kamala, the uh, Miss Marvel on there. Yeah. So I wonder if it's like kind of well, related to Maybe this. they're kind of pushing it in But just they didn't want bit. people to know. We're not picking sides. We're not getting into the presidential debate. Bringing politics onto the show. <laughs> but like somebody once said, this book is selling like hotcakes. Didn't we just say that there was like an app using that phrase recently? Moving on. This book has really been selling on eBay. We've been seeing prices go anywhere from $15 to $20 for this book. It's the first time that we ever spoke about Savage Dragon here at Hero and the Kid. It's the first time we ever talked about Joe Biden here at Hero and the Kid. <laughs> it's the first time we've ever talked about Kamala Harris here at Hero and the Kid. All right, that's enough for this book. Let's move on to number three. All right, so coming in at number three, we have Monstrous, issue number one, the second printing. It's been a little while since a 9.8 sale for this book has popped up, but this book still has some punching power. Yeah, on October 17th, we saw this book at a 9.8 sell for $750. October 23rd, we saw this book sell for $700. And then on November 2nd, we saw this book dip a little bit at $558. But still up there in price. For a while, there's been... Quite a bit of rumors that this might be in development for a TV show. There's nothing confirmed. There was some stuff that was retracted. Yeah. We've been seeing raw sales over the past month hit anywhere from like $75 
up to about $200 for this book. A lot of it is just due to the speculation. Rumors of a TV show gets people fired up to buy a comic book. Yeah, like speculation about a book obviously just makes a book go up in price, but I feel like it might not happen. I don't know. Do you feel like it's going to happen? I think at some point a show might come out of this book. Yeah, I feel like way down the line, but not anything close to now. That's just what I think, so it's probably just going to go down until it actually is confirmed that it is going to become a TV show, but that's just my thought. I don't know what anybody else is thinking. As of right now, prices seem to be holding a little steady for this. You know, we had a little dip of $558. But overall, this book has been holding strong. So coming in at number two, we got a big book right here. We got Star Wars Adventures, issue number one, the PHMOGO Virgin Variant. This was part of a 501 Virgin set. We saw it sell on sites like Scorpion Comics. Over this past week on November 7th, we saw a 9.8 of this book pre-order sell for $1 thousand dollars at a 9.8 plus 30 dollars shipping man crazy. <sighs> crazy 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 it's a cool cover it of is. darth vader am i gonna pay a thousand dollars for this book yes probably not Ow. <laughs> but there are people out there that will yeah this oh my this is a very this is like one of my favorite piece of milk variants that she's done so far this is just an awesome one yeah, right yeah i here. really like the look of this one i like the background how it's like black and gray it's, it's an awesome cover nice. definitely one of her good ones there was another one that sold on november 1st that went for six hundred dollars on a 9.8 not even close to the one thousand dollar one now people talk about market manipulation this might be a case for it because there was only one bid on each of them. The way people go after Peach Momoko, I can see somebody paying for this. Especially Comic Tom. <laughs> can I get a holla if you hear me? Hey now. So coming in at number one, you're gonna get the full reaction from Will. He has no idea what the price is on this book. All he knows is that it's good old Spawn, number 307, a blank cover variant. Blank cover. How much do you think this bad boy is going for? Well, if it's number one, uh, it's a blank, like nothing is on it. Nothing? Nothing. Maybe it's the first ever blank cover. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna, it's either very low or very high. <laughs> That's a great guess. Thank you. I'm going <laughs> to say $3,000. What's... See what the price is. Okay. Enter. We are talking about an unreleased blank variant cover. Only copy ever sold on eBay is in the description. Um, this had 21 bids on it. This book sold for $1,000. $526 on November 3rd. I was only half away. <laughs> so this is like the only blank cover they've ever done? Evidently. And it's the only one that's ever sold? <laughs> I tried looking up a lot of information on this. I couldn't find a whole heck of a lot. What a variant, am I right? <laughs> this is just beautiful. Absolutely insane. $1,500 for a blank cover. It's like that old saying back in elementary school. It's a polar bear in a snowstorm. That's what they used to. Did they never say that in your school? No? Not that I'm aware of. No. <laughs> when, you, when you can't think of anything to draw, the teacher would always come over and be like, oh, it's a polar bear in a snowstorm. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is crazy. It's a blank comic. Yep. I came across this and I'm like, oh my God, this has to be the number one choice. It's crazy. <laughs> this is so weird. A blank comic. This is like this is like kind of this is like the perfect example of when you go to a museum and you see a painting on the wall of just scribbles and it's like thirteen million dollars, <laughs> and then you just got a blank one, one thousand five hundred twenty six dollars. It's pretty awesome. You can see what kind of beautiful artwork comes out of a blank cover, but man, fifteen hundred dollars. Wow. All right, Hero Squad, it's time for the other fun part of the show. It's time for the variant picks of the week. This week, we're picking out a variant for November 11th. We're going to see what's the better one. We're going to put it to the test and see who wins. Go ahead, chump. All right, this week, I'm picking Kick-Ass versus Hit-Girl, 
issue number one, the David Mack variant. That is a good choice. David Mack's a good artist. I remember last week's variant show, a lot of people picked him as their very variant, variant artist. Yeah, I think, what was it? Jennifer fire Guy Ryan. Ryan. Or they Ryan both... the Fire Guy. Fire Guy Ryan. I Ryan, always get it. <laughs> the Guy Fire or Guy Fire, whatever. That guy, you know. You know, the one then... that's with Tom and stuff. You, know, you all know who we're talking about. <laughs> then we got Jennifer from Comic Books Will Break Your Heart. She was another big fan of David Mack. But I really like this. I know you're not big on the watercolor, but... Yeah, I do cover like. Looks I like, really nice. I like. I think it's just. I think I. I do like watercolor. I think it just has to be the colorful, because I think one of the reasons why I don't like the watercolor in Department of Truth is it's so dark and it's hard to tell what's going on in it. It's like just black and brown, but this stands out to you. But let's take a look at my pick. And now my variant pick is Wolverine issue number seven, the Gabriel Del Otto Virgin variant. Not gonna lie, absolutely awesome cover. All right, Hero Squad, it's up to you to determine the winner of this week's Pick of the Week for Variants. Leave a comment down below on who you want to win. There you have it, Hero Squad, this week's Variant Show. We hope you liked this. We hope you enjoyed watching this. There was a lot of great books on the list this week. A lot of them really moving up in price. One coming out of left field, going in for $1,500. A blank, blank cover. cover. <laughs> what is this world coming to? <laughs> we had a lot of fun with this variant show. We showed you a couple ugly covers. We showed you our variant picks of the week. We had a fun time recording this. So before you all leave, please subscribe to Hero and the Kid. Give this video a like and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any more of our upcoming content. Make sure you check out the Patreon in the description below. Make sure you go back and check out my Pick of the Week video. You'll really enjoy it. You won't, you're not expecting what my Pick of the Week is. Well, uh, it does say it in the title. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you? Well, you should still watch it. It's very energetic. It's a lot of fun. I guarantee you'll like it. And each week you keep getting better with it. Thank I'm you. pretty impressed. But once again, we want to thank you, Hero Squad, for tuning in to this week's video. We are Hero and the Kid, and we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.